is hide your seams with a decora decoration because um, that's just what we do, I'll be honest with you, when, when you can't get the seams just right because the items aren't exact. Um, excuse me, I have to close that. I know I have a seam up here. Uh, you may put that. See that seam? That's because, well, I think because I these are not the same items. This is one item, this is another. I could probably fix this with 286.51. Oh, this is not going to go well. Because it's going to flip it weird. I knew it. We'll do undo. Oh, undo. I love undo. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, point is, here's your walls. You've got a little bit of a seam there. What do you do? You use something. A blackwood tapestry, for example. Something big that covers the whole seam right boom now i have a pretty decoration it is frustrating but the point is is that what i wanted to show you and didn't successfully do all the way was and i might redo it later with better pieces that are easier to use is create the walls you create the floor and then you figure it out now these things this is the 1446 okay so we'll go 1938 boom okay that worked that worked that looks nice actually uh i like being able to fix things so this wall note that there is a gap that's because these pieces are shorter than the walls themselves so like for example these are the Lewin walls we were given. These are the interior walls we were given. Note the difference. These are much shorter. So if you're bothered by the gap in space between the two, then I would recommend filling it with something, some item. See if you can find something that fits it in a way that you're satisfied or you could just use more walls and do this, you know, coming down to the roof line and make that more of a wainscoted look, right? But that might make your roof, your roof outside look like shit. I just left it. I found it worked really well for here because then I got an aquarium. But it's deeply annoying that, uh, that it works that way. But that's what they gave us. So what are you gonna do, right? You, you get what you get. And as you can see, the roof is this solitude thing. The top roof is also the solitude thing. My lines are not exact, you'll note. There's problems with my lines. Uh, sorry, that's my cat sneezing. I spend an inordinate, inordinate amount of time trying to get things exact the lion the you know right well i hope that that the that's effective ventilation but there's lots of reasons for it bless you cat but this is a handcrafted house from nowhere <laughs> i mean i basically just built this out of nothing so again, uh, the best way to do it, just add floor, then you add uh, walls. These are constellation tiles. From, they are the uh, achievement items from Rivenspire. They are only the achievement items. Do not use the other ones. The other ones are the... Uh, are the Lux ones? Don't use those. They don't. They don't have an, an. They don't have a blank back. 
what I did after that was, you'll notice I left this part open. I wanted a lot of light, but typically if I was going to be building a house, normal house, I'd have closed this up a little bit and have slots for windows, but I really wanted an open house over here. And then you got to create, if you want, you know when you go to an office that has an open floor plan, everybody's got their little cubbies everywhere, but there's no like rooms or offices? That's kind of what you could have, but then you you could start with that and then just start breaking it down into additional rooms. That's why it helps to plan it out on paper ahead of time, you know. This is probably a better ex better example. Bless you, little sneezy head. I apologize for screwing it up so bad. I'll edit it so that it looks like I'm amazing. But the truth is, is that I make tons of errors and I have to figure it out as I go along. And something that might seem simple isn't. All right, so here's a house I built a long time ago. Again, sort of an open plan because I like a lot of light. Uh, on this one, I created the floors, just basically drew it on a piece of paper. I said, I want this many uh, pieces as a floor. So I did, if you'll note, uh, I think it's one, two, three cross, one, two, three, four, five, six, six long. And then I just used EHT to lay those out flat. That's why you have a little bit of a uh, flicker here. The reason why I have a little bit of a flicker here is because uh, they're in sharing the same exact pixels. My cat is sneezy today. A way to fix that is to uh, change your, I, I know this is a little complex, but change your, your distance here to the smallest possible thing means it'll move it by one centimeter, the smallest you can move it. Then either pick up or down, and then you won't have that flicker anymore. And it still looks exact. That's how you fix a flicker. If I really cared, I'd run around doing it, but I put an EHT floor over it anyway. So I don't really care all that much. The second thing I did, I made walls. I made long walls that matched the amount of floors I had and then put them up. You know, if you if I was going to, I would have to make to enclose this, I would have to bring walls all the way up to the top and extend my floor. I made this more like, hey Fluffy, I made this more like a wedding cake so it gets thinner as you go up. Um, but again, if you want a second floor, you're gonna have to plan out the floors, plan out the walls. Uh, I don't care. And then you keep going up here. You're going to have to figure out how to do your stairways. I'm sorry. Get over it, girl. Um, there's all this planning that you have to do because stairways have to be able to go upstairs and not block a huge portion of your house. Um, so let's say I wanted to do a stairway further closer here, right? Well, look at how much that I'm spending in terms of, of slots, uh, in terms of space, you know? It's like I'm eating all of this space in this second room. So plan ahead, do it maybe on graph paper or something um, as much as you can. And then if you can't, you can't. But this is a simplistic build itself just because I decided to leave it open and then I made like a, I made each floor slightly smaller than the floor below. So this floor was, you know, six times four. That floor is what, two times four and then keep going. There's a lot of problems with, with, with stairs. Stairs can be tricky, but, but they are kind of self-explanatory. Once you start putting the floors down and the walls down, the rest of it kind of comes, 
comes clear what you should be doing. It's, it's a lot easier if you do that. I'm ready to stab things. So let's just look at a house because I'm not, not doing the best of jobs today. All right, let's go to, okay. Why am I, what is this sorted by last visit? Okay, let's sort by, yeah, that's fine. Open houses, favorites. Let's go to Keely, really? She might be on. Anineer Monolest Cottage. Yeah, but the point being, if you just put down your floor, you've started to build a house, a freestanding house. So pick what object you want to use for your floor. And that can even be a carpet and go from there. This is a lintel, yes, and it's going to look nothing like a lintel from the looks of it. Oh dear, this is, this is so different. Goodness, this looks like, oh, this is adorable. I don't know if you recall, but Lynchell's a big formal garden and a huge house. Uh, this is usually the stables, but this appears to have been completely redone um, to look entirely different. It is, it's definitely bringing you to a different world. Um, I might apologize for how poorly, I feel really bad how poorly that went. I wish I could have picked better items. I just didn't think. Look at this great piano. Those are books and probably either Daedric books or something else for the black keys. Nothing ever goes the way I plan. What they did is they added these tonal arcs in here. It makes it look, the entrances to each room look so different. Very nice. This is, I believe, it's closed off for reasons. And then they just made this into a cabin area. Okay. They used just the front and redecorated it entirely. It's very cute. Some people don't like the whole enormous bit of it. Um, let me show you some roofs. Why I, what I was talking about with ceilings and roofs. Um, making a house like that, you'll notice that there's that. Okay, so this is the best roof I think I've ever seen. The way that it just worked was, and was amazing. They, these are solitude floors, just like I showed you. They made a beautiful arch and they managed, I mean, this, Dressenfer made this so cleanly. Every Every angle is perfect, everything matches, everything's gorgeous, it's just incredible. So that's one way of doing a roof. All they did is take two solitude ones and go like that. And then he, the front is the hard part to fill up. Like what do you do in the front of the house? Um, let me get one to show you what I mean. If you make a peaked roof, what do you put in the triangle is the question. Well, here's an Aya one. Aya put, um, if you see up here, you see this sideways thing? That's the, I believe the lean-tos that she's using here. It's just one of them turned on its side to fill up the, the triangle. So you see, thanks for the follow guitar record. Um, with a peaked roof, you have that addition, additional problem. And so you have to, you have to turn it, do something. You know, turn it on its side, do something with that roof. Um, that's the problem that I was trying to demonstrate and demonstrated poorly to you guys. Um, there are other ways to fill that. 
what this person here did, Dunderan, is they put a window and then under the peaked roof. Look at what they used to, to fill up. They used a, the walls down here on an angle. So it fills it. If you look closely at any house that has a peaked roof, you should be able to tell, oh, look what they did there. And it's always the first thing that I look at because I'm curious to know, did somebody come up with another good way of dealing with a peaked roof? Um, what is, she left it open. Swankery just left it open, which is something that I like to do because I think, um, I think I like the view, especially in that house. Nothing wrong with that. Um, this person also used filler to deal with the peaked roof. Peaked roofs are hard. That's why a lot of us boulders use flat roofs. See, this is Aries. She doesn't have to deal with any emptiness because she's got these flat roofs. So just be aware, if you're doing a peaked roof, you're, you're going to have to fill something up. It's, it might be a little weird to you. Hey, guitar. Uh, I'm all right. I, you just happened to come at a very technical part of my stream. I don't usually do this kind of technical explanation, and I certainly don't usually do it this poorly. <laughs> but I just wanted to show people how to do it. Um, I'm going to record a video offline showing you guys how to, with lots of edits, so you don't have to sit through it. Oh, of course. I always appreciate it. Um, I really do. Oh. You, you know, that's part of the reason why I took you guys to see... Um, hold on, let me put these things away. Well, this is a mostly housing stream. So if you're not into housing, um, this might not be your cup of tea. But we're very nice. You know. Um, this is my character, one of my alts. I am doing uh, Ritz right now real quick between switching alts. Most people do Ritz every day. It's a good way to make money. There's a add-on if you're on PC called Dalgubon's Lazy Rit Crafter or Lazy Rit something or other. You should get that. It does most of the work for you. Okay, let me turn this in and then we'll do the next thing. But there was a reason why I showed you all those facades and pointed out all of the rooftops. It's because roofs can be some of the hardest things, but also stairs. Stairs, like we were discussing, can be really tricksy. Um, some people use ramps, some people use uh, circular stairs they can eat up a lot of slots because um, if you're using like shelves or something to make your stairs the slots um, go away real quick the reason being that our characters can't really step all that high and so you're gonna have to use a lot of them to uh, get up a lot of items to get to that certain height. Let me see if I can find it some good stairs real quick. I won't bore you with it, but this is a good one for an example of what I'm talking about with the number of slots. This is Esmeralda's uh, Antiquarians. So you see this this spiral staircase? That's all made from uh, from words from uh, shelves it's a beautiful sp spiral spirals are hard to do by the way because um even if you use eht you have to figure out the the height uh this the curve i have a lot of trouble with spirals no matter what i do i struggle with them so be aware that that's not easy so that's one way of doing them um Personally, I like to use um, big items or st official stairs, 
like real stairs. Like these are the, um, these aren't actually stairs. These are slabs. This is Sinister Biscuit. Hey, Trisorm. They made a very thin stairway going up because this is Kraken Home, if you can believe it. Um, it's pretty amazing. Then you can have really complex stairs. Um, blah, 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 blah. Here's another one with the uh, shelving. This is dark eminence. Look at this. Beautifully done. A lot of people do this by hand because spirals are so hard to do with EHT. It's like almost not worth it. Um, so you've got to figure out where do you want your your uh, stairs in your house? How are you going to, you know, incorporate them? Are you going to use spirals so they take up less space? If so, be aware that that is super hard. Um, what is your problem, cat? I don't know why that's in stairs. That shouldn't be in stairs. Um, neither should that. I'm not really sure what my problem is. Chin spun stairs. These are Lilith stairs. I, I think it was the railings that I took this picture of. Really? Uh, ramps. This is Futerkos. You can always use a ramp if you don't want to deal with stairs. It certainly would have less item slots than if you tried to do all those stairs, right? like with with shelving so that's an option oh no, those are secret lilith also has been known to use planks these are hand laid another ship home i don't expect us to ever get another ship home honestly um one that isn't that popular is probably enough Anyway, you get the general idea of what I'm saying. This is a beautiful stairway. Okay. You know, it's like everybody wanting yet another uh, dwarven house. It's like, you're not going to get the dwarven house you're dreaming of, so don't bother. Might as well just make it. Why are you sneezing so much? You're making me nervous. Stop sneezing, cat. Let me just do this and then we'll look at another house. Making me nervous. Don't make me take you to the vet. I have lost my faith a long time ago. Um, that they're going to give us precisely what we want. I don't expect that anymore. I think the problem with Grotto is it's huge. <laughs> it's too big. Um, and unless you close off bits of it, it's not it's not going to be worthwhile. And um, unfortunately, they're not going to close off bits of Most people don't close off any of it. That's part of the problem. All right, let's do something smaller. We'll do... See you later, alligator. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't hold my breath. Humble mud. I see, I see. Fire garden. Yeah, it probably does come back this year. Not, would not be surprised. Oh, by the way. Oh, I posted this in Discord. You should you should do this. They, um, Zoss is asking for for posts of your favorite house uh, decorations from inside your posts of your favorite house. So if you want to, um, you should promote yourself a little bit. Share your art, right? Okay, this is. I see. I see. Let me undo the favoriting so that I know I toured it. All right. 
This is um, really redone. This is called, this is like her fire garden. Um, you'll see she changed the floor a bit. She added some of this rubble. She added burnt sticks all around us, which is a fire garden, so it makes some sense. And then in the backyard, wow, she used all sorts of burnt looking stuff. She added fires. The way that you have random wildfires going is you just bury a brazier into the ground showing only the fire coming up like she did here. So if you want a wildfire raging, just use braziers. It's quite lovely actually. And then here's the fire dude in the middle. She kind of made a creature behind it too. Little stars? I don't know what that means. Little stars club? Wait a minute. Research is on EU? Since when? Did he just move over there? I guess he's in Australia, so it doesn't really matter. Um... I don't know that I'm going to EU today. I don't know. We'll see. Why did I all end up here? Noosh Oi. tink. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, so um, TSO Online is retweeting all of the pretty houses that they like, including um, mine. I don't recognize anyone else's names. The Elder Memes, Turgenev. So you may want to um, make sure you enter that. I think everybody in large part is over on um, EU today because of the OMP contests of touring. So that could be it, my guess. Okay, let me see if they, if I got a notification that they did that. Um, which is my favorite house of yours? Jesus Christ, Aya. Um, you know, off the top of my head, it's got to be uh, the one you did, the Roman one you did, because I just have such a thing for that historical bent. Losano, is it? Why are you laughing at me? But I have lots of saved images of things of yours that I absolutely adore, you know. Um, so it's hard for me to to just say one. For example, I think this is perhaps one of my favorite ceilings in ever, and that's by you. Let's see if that's showing. Yeah, it is. Um, see it it's just I know it's just a spiral but it's so beautifully done and it's one of my favorite sear ceilings I love it um oh you know what it is Aya I, I gotta say it's your tree house your tree house is the most exquisite tree house I've ever seen and it was done with such technical skill that's probably my favorite it was it was really super impressive I would say that's it yeah but with a close second is the Roman one because that's I mean I, I just it was perfection I'm glad, I mean, you, you see what I'm saying. It's five days. Jesus. 
Cyber, I think you had a queen one. Either the red queen or the princess queen or something weird um, that I liked best of yours. Because you reskinned something and it looked so good. It was very fairy tale. You know what's funny is that I have no memory for words, but I can remember a lot of your individual builds. You freaks. Freaks and geeks. I should show you the house I stumbled across yesterday with, because you builders that I've that have uh, seen a lot of houses. This is the first time I've ever seen anyone do this, and it's genius. Sekamat's Port Hundings. It's more than genius. It's. I can't believe I've never seen anybody else do it before, and it's really good. I visited this yesterday. All right. I don't care that I completed my alchemist trip. Okay, so we're in a Hundings. They, of course, did the beginning again. They closed off with uh, hedges. Look at that. Look at that genius. These are the floors from the stairs. Oh, I have tons of castles. Tons. Uh, you want EU? Look at this. They just added stairs directly up to the roof, which is the best part of the house. Isn't this so smart? And look at this. Uh, aquarium. Beautiful. This is easily the best part of the house, and it's so... I can't believe I've never seen anybody just directly walk up there before. Before. Most people have you go around back and then cy cycle up through here. This person just skipped all that and just did the roof. It's so smart. I wish I had thought of it myself. Uh, really good work. All right, so let's, let's grab you a castle. I have tons of them, but we'll flip through them because I've, I think I've recently toured them all. So I'll just show them to you. Um... That's not really a castle castle. Not when these don't exist anymore because, oh. Hmm. I guess that's a, that's a castle. This is not EU though. This is Moon Sugar's EU Hollow Lunar Champion, I think. If you want to see it in person. Um, this one won the contest for Vampire, I think. This is done by Aerie. This is on NA. It's a uh, very neat castle. If you ask me, excuse me, I'm going to move my character to somewhere. Um, this one is up in the sky. Money Shot did this. Uh, this is one of Aranteer's. It's his Aeliad castle. It doesn't really have turrets, but that's okay. It has some. Um, I love the craftsmanship. This is a floating castle, Time Squid Astern. This one is by Aya. It's also an incredibly lovely one. This is on EU, and of course, it's Pariahs. Aya Lockhart, who's in the channel, made this. It's a great um, build because it shows you what you can do in Pariahs, and also just because it's really good. Um, Ananir made a little castle. I liked his turret here, so I took a picture of it. I know, isn't it? Sea Code made a fort. This has a fort slash castle thing going on in it. This is also on EU. I believe it's Stillwaters, if I had to guess. So if you're, I hope you're writing these down because, or you could watch this later and get the names then. Um, that's fine. Then we have, this is Arantir again. This is a, a um, antiquarian. Look at this beauty. Uh, Anarantir is on NA, so you would visit it on NA if you wanted to. Uh, let me see. Log and switch. Then we have, um, yeah, more Anarantir, because I was very impressed by it. 
it was a really incredible build. I mean, Aaron Tear is super talented, but a lot of you people are. Let me just get this big again. Uh, Aegon 65. Even though this EHT is, is really big here, it's just the standard build itself is actually really good. Um, Aram 500. Yes, it has. That was an old version. But I liked that one too. This is Aram 500 um, elsewhere, of course. These are prior to us having those pieces, so it's entirely possible that, you know, obviously. This is Tulian on NA. It's more of a house than a castle, I suppose. This is Subtiles in Cold Harbor. They did a comp... This is unusual. People have... I think this is EU. They did a Stillwaters, I believe. This might be Cold Harbor. It's Cold Harbor. Sorry, I lied. Um, Cold Harbor. They did a combination of Alinor and Elsewhere, which is unusual. Most people don't combine the two pieces because they're such drastically different colors. But this works. I'm not really sure why. I guess because the, they're just using the tops of the turrets as that. I, I don't know. Um... This is Eridan GL's Stillwaters on NA. It is done with Eleanor mostly. I think totally, actually. It's a beautiful castle that you can go inside. It's much more pretty at night, though. Um, <laughs> this one I just thought was so cute. It's Castle Grayskull. This is uh, Andy Cragler's on EU. Isn't that adorable? I think so. Um, this is Pandora Hearts Castle, uh, Skyrim Glacier Lake, NA. It's got some neat turrets. And then this one's a just cute little Stillwaters Castle. Look at how tiny that is. It's adorable. Fjallgadur made a castle on NA. I mean, EU, rather. This is a really unusual ca castle. This is a sea castle made by Eleanor. It's got, on um, all sides, it's it's really creative. It's got tons of coral. It's just really neat. And even small touches, like you notice the statue has a clam on his head. That's kind of adorable, if you ask me. That's N.A., I believe. I'm not sure. Swanks. Swanks made one in her um, antiquarian, I believe. This one is beautiful. This is Cliffhaven by Fiendish in her Hunter's Glade. It's pretty much Redguard. You don't often see Redguard castles because they're hard to create. I mean, we have limited materials to work with. Uh, Tianchi made one. This is Walking Spanish made Hogwarts. Hey, Dara. There's some good uh, details in this. This is, again, Swanks. Um, Nywin used the existing uh, Shaladors, but added, like, walls and stuff to it. So you end up having something um, that actually looks like a finished castle instead of a broken castle. That's something you could do, too. You can always reskin something. This is Gandalf on, an, on EU, EU, rather. Sorry, I'm having a lot of trouble speaking today. I apologize for that. And thinking. Yeah, we can do that. Um, let me just finish. Uh, yeah. There you go. This is by Chrysaea. We'll get through these. We're almost done. It's spectacular on the inside if you go to it. It's worth it. It's Pariah's. Um, Cheerio, which is Turbo Sheepy. Um, the, they did a, a, a elsewhere castle. This is Fiendish, did another castle. This is in Moonsugar, NA. This is Ben and Dante's Stillwaters. I don't think it still looks like this, I'm sorry to say. I don't remember for sure, though. It might. Um, 
But I think this one is really good because of the little walls and whatnot. Here's another view of it. It's in there, still waters. I believe it's EU. So, um, Ben M. Dante. Upper left hand corner, if you're curious, her names. Um, this one is done by Kellair. I can't speak. I believe they are also at EU. This is Aga Sagasai. This is actually, from my understanding, based on an actual uh, legit castle. So this is like a recreation. There's really no interior to this. It's entirely exterior, but it's, it's beautiful. OKC Wild Bill OKC um, made a floating castle slash whatever. All right. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. I'm starting something in the other window, so hold on. They really, they're really pretty. Um, this one is six Alaric. Again, elsewhere. This is Aaron Tier made another Elliot Castle. This one no longer exists. Uh, this was on Grand Topol, but I believe it's been completely changed. No, not in existence at all. This one, of course, we looked at the other day. It's, it's more of a mansion, but it's superb. Um, more stuff. 2015 NA, uh, Moon Sugar. This is Aaron Tears Pariahs. Worth a visit. Absolutely stunning, if you ask me. If you ask me. Um, this is Nisterish, who is also a, a streamer. They made a castle. This was the first castle I saw made with the new pieces, with the turrets and whatnot. So that's cool. Um, and here's the, that was a, the fort exterior, and here's the castle castle. This is it's also Nisterish. Look at this castle by Futerko. This is worth a visit in person because it's just beyond description. This is uh, Hunter's Glade. It's absolutely beyond anything I could explain to you in person. There's interiors. You should definitely go see it. This is Dresenfer. This is probably the most skillful uh, castle in terms of clean technical building that I've seen. It's spectacular. I've gone to it multiple times in order to get ideas. Um, you'll note I did the triple thing in the middle too. I, I totally admit I got that idea from Dresenfer, but I didn't steal the second floor on a corner because I thought that was too much taking it item for item. Zarquan's made a castle here. Yes, it is. Nine pence. Nine pence is worth a visit if you want ideas. This is um, Serenity on EU. It's, it's unbelievable. It's just beyond. This is Karuntup's lovely castle. Telgalan. This is Nim. They did a mushroom castle. Isn't that wild? This is Cheerio. They made a castle in their Jodes that's unlike any other Jodes I've ever seen. And of course, it's all elsewhere, which fits for Jodes. This is Maldorin. They made a. It's actually a cathedral, I think, out of Futerko. F-U-T-E-R-K-O. She's on EU. This is done by Maldrin. It's astoundingly beautiful. This is Fig the Ancient doing a fun little castle, also in Pariahs. There's a lot going on in this one. This is Aaron Tears Chapel, but it makes a good castle if you want to kind of go with that. Pandora Hearts Castle. One by Icy Icy. This one is really good too. She reskinned. 
See, she started with uh, Serenity and reskinned it to make it into a castle. This is Bunny's tiny little castle, so cute. This is uh, Catchlights and Bells and Efkas and Bjornoth Blade. Yeah, she's amazing. Vexian Blue. Masha. EU. Uh, C Code. Potentates. General Mittens on uh, EU, I believe. ICIC again. This one is Catchlight. Look at that, man. That is beautiful and sweet waters. Again, nine pence. I took more pictures because I went back. Jarpal's Shalidors. Uh, this is again Dresenford. This is Aya's mind blowing castle in the distance in uh, her still waters. I, I fell in love with that. So that's it for castles. We are now in uh, the Fluffy Shrimp. We're in their erstwhile that they asked me to check out. I've got some scary stuff going on. I did think they said it was a... Oh, look, there was an additional skull under there. Um, yes, I, I don't know if she identifies as a they or as a she, but I should use they because that's just generally the right thing to do. So you're correct on that. Um, at that castle. Wow, that's going in the file. Let me get a good view of it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That is so stunning. You did a, like a fort outside as well. See, this is what I was attempting to show you earlier, if you notice, um, and failed horribly. I'm gonna be a kitty. There's, you know, the the walled windows, windows with the walls from Leowin, the door. This door comes separately, you just stick it in there. Turrets, walls. No, you're right. Oh goodness, how many things do I have pictures of for you? It might be in another um, subsection. I have things mixed up a little bit. Like, you might be in concepts instead of castles, you know? Now, that's a great use of that waterfall, is putting that walkway in front of it. That's lovely. Oh, let me take off my fast ring. Got the cemetery. It's very spooky down here, like you, like you mentioned. Uh -oh. It's back here. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll finish this off first. I gotta be honest. Scary builds are not my favorite, but I always appreciate a good uh, build, no matter what style. But scary, I just like, I will never buy the stuff for the scary, and I've been selling off anything. The only ones I think of are right now. There's here's the music boxes. Here, blood, gore, whatever. This shadows one. I think this is. These aren't quite new. These have been around. This one is really unpleasant. As cute as it is, this is a really unpleasant song. It's very anxiety inducing, which I think fits with the, the picture. And then there's this one, which is cute. Yeah, they're repeats, but that's okay. Lovely dining room. People are unpleasant. People are not happy. A-Rox! 
Hey, Rox is great. My man, A Rocks. Wow, this is big. See, this is what I'm talking about when building, planning out a house. Uh, some people can just do it. Okay. Some people, I'll look at it after the stream. Some people can just uh, build as they go. I cannot. I have to plan out the layout beforehand. I, I would not have been able to think of, okay, so I want this, this square around my house, right? No, that's okay. I love the build. I love your castle. It's gorgeous. And you have enough of enough of non-scary here that I'm not grossed out. I don't know. Maybe it's... I, I don't know. Probably. Somebody is dead. And you've hidden the witch stick that puts um, bugs and gross stuff. Uh, well done. People are decaying. Nice little patio round thing. Here's just a cute little corner. There are those walls I was showing you. And another way of dealing with the fact that they're not tall enough is doubling and tripling them up. You can do that. There's nothing saying you can't. Here, you see at the top, those are um, short fences. There's a, just the wooden half. I think that's why they gave us that, was so that we could put the wooden half on top, and this already has it on the bottom, so you can fill that gap. But it's still kind of weird that they did that. Um, here you go. I get it though. It's nice of them to have given us an option to fill it up somehow. So here's this. Let's go another stairway up. Here's your here's your box, your invocate invitation. Good for you. Here's another uh, level up. Again, thinking of where stairs go can be difficult. And this is, I believe, the final real room library. And then we can jump off if we wanted to and die horribly. Because why not? Dead! Wow, this, is, this has got a lot of space in it and took a lot of either planning as you went or planning ahead of time. But... It's architecturally quite impressive just how many rooms you were able. And like the fact that I can get lost in it is kind of amazing. Well, you're amazing anyway, Maya. You're kind of a crazy person. The fact that you're able to do that. Here's a little exterior. I, I have to plan. If I don't plan, nothing happens. I make nothings. I start building and then it comes out all wrong and then I have to plan. Where's the side thing? I actually got lost in your house. This is kind of amazing. Nice job. And the fact you had slots for back here is kind of shocking. You can always close this off. You don't need to leave it open unless you want to. Oh, I'm sorry. Why don't you? No one can can uh, hold you to doing that if you don't want to do it. I'll be right back. I have to use the restroom real quick. Let me put on um, a taco.
You are plorp. My cat fell over. Mm. That's impressive. Look at how fat my lips are in this picture. It's so silly. Well, you guys are much more creative than I am. I, I really have problems with my creativity. It's, uh, you know what I noticed? My, my favorite work of mine, even my not favorite work of mine, my successful builds are more like um, poetry than prose. So, like, I say something with less than more. Um, I don't know that it's better because, I mean, I go to someone's house like uh, Aya's or Ali Toops. And especially Ali Toops or someone like her who, who does um, tons of interior cobbling and just amazing stuff like that. It's like that, it, to me, is that, that's more like world building, writing a huge story or, you know, creating something epic. My stuff feels more like a quick poem. <laughs> so, you know, it's just something I realized yesterday because I have always done more poetry. I can't, I can't get, I can't seem to do good prose. It ends up boring and researchy. So I think even coming up with it is hard for me. There's some people whose just talent just flows from them like water. It's amazing. I am not that person. Um, kind of incredible though. All right, what was the other thing you guys wanted to see? I forget. Whatever. If you know what kind of castle you want, like Nordic, um, do you want a Alinori castle, an elsewhere castle, let me know and I, I should have a few others stored away in other file folders. And then I'll show them to you. Sorry for doing this this way, but I, I just, it's hard for me to avoid it. I am envious of you two. Well, thank you. I, I felt like I didn't, but um, I was going to actually edit that out entirely and then build something offline. Yeah, you know what? EHT sort of over time, once people gave me certain, certain hints about how to use it better, I was like, oh my God. Right? You know, it suddenly made a lot more sense. Um, let's go to a house. Let's do a random, random house, one of the older ones. Let's do... Uh, let's do Keeley's. We'll go to Keeley's Magic City Prize Pinnacle. I don't think I could... Could, I mean, the way that my brain isn't working lately, I'm not sure that I could do that. It's been hard. Um, I had a nightmare the other night. Well, let me back up. I think you guys know that I posted a story in my Discord uh, why I didn't stream the other day. It was because um, I had woken up and accidentally... Uh, instead of grabbing, hmm. uh, I'll read you the little post. I got up, popped some bread in the toaster, grabbed a butter knife, then opened the fridge and grabbed the butter. Walked back to the toaster when I realized I had a half a can of cat food in my hand, not butter. 
Looked at my husband's scavenger and asked if he had left the cat food out. He had to explain to me I grabbed it from the fridge. Then I started to search for my coffee. He finally asked what I was looking for and he said, Karen, you finished it. You finished the coffee just now, or you just finished the coffee. So when I'm like that, I, I have to go back to bed because there's clearly something wrong with my illness, giving me more problems. Look at this beauty. Um, it's funny at first thought, but when you put it through, that's interesting with the, they adding the lightning. But when you think it through, um, that this happens a lot, it makes you wonder like what's really wrong. Brooms. Um, here's a good example of what I was trying to show you. So you've got these solitude walls. What they did is they took two, then two, then two. So they have three walls, right? Then they took one of those uh, solitude plank roofs or floors, stuck it on top. It's probably what they use for the floor too. That's why you have these little things hanging down because that platform has legs. Then what they did is they used, these are two bent fences. These are fence lines. They have garden fences. Put them on top and bottom to create a window spot. So, and these are just posts. So they made, you know, imagine a frame. Two garden walls, two posts. You have a frame, open space. Thank you, Taryn. I, I need to correct, like update some of them, but, and speed them up, but I'm doing my best. And then they just stuck the display cases in there. So what did they do over here? They bought the doorway arch from somewhere or made it. Here's again, the garden wall, garden wall post. And then they stuck the door that's separate from the doorway. That's as simple as you can make it. I mean, that's what, that's the way it, the simplest kind of structure that you can come up with. And here you can see that, that it's a flat roof and you can see the pieces a little better from the outside too. Post, 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 the garden, garden wall, garden wall, garden wall, no garden wall, doorway. And they did the same thing over here too. Now I'm not trying to belittle, uh, Keely, who I think is an amazing builder. Yeah, no problems there. I'm trying to just show you. Uh, oh, cute. What a smaller built house. Like this one's totally different. So that just shows you she can do multiple things. You know, these I believe are elsewhere platforms instead. And you've got uh, elsewhere walls. But again, a flat roof, because those are more sensible as far as I'm concerned. And instead of a doorway, which wouldn't make sense in this case, they added, um, it's an opening. And then the, as a roof for a facade, I don't think that they finished. Oh, they did. Okay. She added um, two lean-tos, one here and one on the other side, to make a kind of a sideways pointed ceiling. But you don't see it from the inside because they have a piece of wood there. So we've got a little town here. Oh, I'm sorry. I could... This must be uh, because I, every time I see the pots, I realize it must be uh, Harry Potter, the the wizarding where they go shopping. I forget the name of the town, <laughs> but you, the pots it should give it away. Um, you say you have a lot of time, Aya, and you're not wrong, but most of my time is, de is, is unfortunately dedicated to my poor health. Solitude floors, roof and ceiling. One side is the wood, one side is tile. That's how they did this. Instead of putting real walls, um, over here at least, they're using Aeliad bookcases. You can always use bookcases as walls, either the front or the back. I hope this is helpful. And then this is the tent overhang. They're just burying the tent in there. So you have the overhang. And then another kitty flying around. 
This one is also elsewhere. These are elsewhere walls sunken down so that you only have that small piece so you can fit a window. And then this is the wood shop, obviously. Mark hearth door. And then here are these ready-made stairs that you can buy in Eleanor. These are uh, Daedric rocks, are good floors. We have a little library here, or a bookstore rather, I would say. Let me in! I hit it twice. Uh, Mark hearth pieces. It's almost like this is like a study in, in creating different kinds of houses. They used Mark hearth bits here. And here they have sunken down and sunken up uh, walls so that they could fit this window in. And then the walls here are all just Eleanor bookcases. Uh, you can make them pr almost any size just by combining them. Second floor, planks. No, this is elsewhere floor because the mold. Just lots of different options. Um, I hope this is helpful. I don't know how to better explain it. And here's the tower. This is obviously made with curved pieces and then they added uh, posts in between on each seam. Let me explain something about the solitude pieces though so you understand. They don't work well in terms of um, neat, clean builds because the top is thinner than the bottom. So you've got like these angled, let me undo, like you've got these angled pieces, like they're thinner at the top than the bottom. So if you try to put a second one on top of it, you have the fat bit again. And then it's just, or if you try to be smart about it and sneaky and flip it so that you have the thin part right, touching the thin part, it still looks like the outside is wiggling in and out. It's just this. It, it, it works for, they said they actually did a really nice job of it, but you can see the pieces that are hanging out. That's because one part is thicker than the other. Yeah, you could do that with some things like a, um, nice job, Keely, by the way. You should test it with lots of things because there are definitely different things that do that. Okay, Squiddy. I tried to start at 10 a.m. So maybe that's why it's always during, cause at my time, 10 a.m. So they may, that's probably why. Cause it, it tends to be at the same time. I want to show you one example of that here. You've got this guy. The giant, um, which I'm about windmill. Okay, we put it down. See, empty. So let me show you something cool you can do. Actually, no. I'm going to show it to you with a real house. So we'll go to, we'll go to one of mine, my homes. There's lots of things that you can do that with. Um, there's also some pieces that have a different decoration on the inside. Really weird. Um, I forget who did it that I first saw it, but there's some cool stuff you can do if you play around with pieces and, and figure out just how messed up they are. All right. So this is the Velothi. Take the structure, the windmill. We're going to embed it into the house. Okay. I'm going to go in the house. So it's embedded in the house. This is the way your guest would come out. Let's say they had a different entrance and they come out with this invisible ish piece here. 
and they're kind of wild. This is something you can do to make invisible things. There's also a... It is difficult. Um, towers are hard because of the walls, but they, they can be done square. This is Nerhezi's square one with Alinor pieces. They can be done rounded with, uh, this is more of a lighthouse, but with, uh, elsewhere pieces. C code did kind of did one with a tree. This is more of a tree house. I don't know why I left it under. This should be in tree houses. I'm sorry. Screenshots architecture we'll put that in tree houses um, this one's done with Merkmeyer another Eleanor oh great this one is done with Daedric uh, Daedric's chairs no I don't even want to work on my own shit why would I want to work on yours <laughs> I kid I kid I kid, I kid. Where's the floor I'm looking for? Ah, here it is. All right, um, let me turn off towers for a moment. I'm in my storage room. Here's the ancient platform rectangular. Do you see what I just did? I pulled it over myself. See that? That beautiful a design that's always something that you can get from doing that but here you go if we put it in a house um, you'll get stuck in the room you put it in unless there's an entrance on the front and the back that you can get out of so if there's a door that you have to open. For example. You freaks. Freaks and geeks. Imagine this is your roof. See it? Completely unique looking, right? and then you would just walk out. And then you're not stuck in it. I don't know, I hope that helps somewhat. I don't know if you guys, you know, if it means anything or not, but I'm trying. I think we'll look at one more house. So exclamation point potato for PCNA and PCEU only. I don't have any uh, I can't give to anybody else because I'm not a stream team. Um, and then we'll look at a rando. I hope that was helpful in some way. Let's go to Kelmara's. This house the Silent Magnifico. Oh, we were looking at towers. Well, you get the general idea. It seems like uh, Eleanor towers are a little easier to do if you do square ones. Um, this one is by Fiendish. I think they use libraries and bottoms of beds and all sorts of crazy things. Um, it's really quite beautiful. This is a Markarth Tower by Lord Wen. That's just scaffolding. I think he removed that later. This is Zulu Skunks. This one is done by Sea of Stars. Isn't that beautiful? That exercised. This one is done by Gandalf. I mean, you can work with the solitude pieces. There's no question. It's just harder to come up with something that looks right. 
but you can work with all, see you can see the gaps where the sizes are different but whatever who cares no one's gonna look at it and go oh my god this is shit because it's not all right here we are here we are nicely decorated which home oh you're talking to Aya so look at how thickly decorated this is what I'm talking about people who are really good at detail work hey crypt keeper we're looking at um, a pretty house that has lots of plants buried in nern crocs I use those pots for dirt too look at the detail work this is what I'm talking about I'm not good at this I'm good at um, I'm better at the bigger aspects of things than the small bits well as you get more achievement items I'm sure you can add more things to it exactly um, that's why I think a lot of people more go leaning towards lay win over over that um, and who could blame them right this is another option you see these these are elsewhere uh, library book libraries I think yeah so you could use these as walls nothing says that you have to use an actual wall piece to create walls you can always just add um, I don't know what they use there that's obviously some kind of I know what they used that's ivory over the feet of the lion looks like a soap holder here's the toilet somebody uh, left a stinker in there from the looks of it here's a double bed just by pushing them together lovely so that gives you a good idea of, of some uh, some things you can do this is really some excellent dec de bleh, decor or decor or something all right let me check switch and see who's who's rolling we got an airy we'll do airy and then uh let me pull the contest and the winner is deviant fishy I need to talk to David Fish. I think they are on EU or NA. I, I don't know anymore. All right. So let me write off. And I will see you all in the future. Have a wonderful day. So, yeah, we definitely be able to see.